Hello YouTubers, my name is Attila Mate from Blue Sky Photography and today I would like to talk to you about an interesting topic and uh, I saw a video a few days ago about somebody and uh, well um, on, a, on a YouTube channel and that photographer was talking about uh, buying new gear and being a gearaholic, gearaholic like you know it's uh, so uh, I was thinking a lot on this you know and, and many photographers will say that uh, it's not the camera, it's the photographer behind the camera. So I was thinking to make a video about uh, the reasons why we need, the uh, five reasons why we need new gear and are we gearaholic or not when you buy new gear, you know? Do you really need the new gear or not? Now I have to tell you, first of all, let's clarify this situation. I I don't really like to purchase all the time the newest camera and uh, if somebody does that doesn't really mean that he's a gearaholic he might have a good reason why he purchases or she purchases you know the, the newest camera all the time now i don't have that habit i don't really uh, do that but in the same time i am very very um, realistic person and i also check all the time do i need newer gear will that help me you know in my job or not so in this video I would like to talk about the five reasons why we need new gear and then I will make another video where I talk about why we don't really need if it, it all depends on the job you are doing it all depends on that because the job you are doing decides and actually that will uh, that will force you to buy new gear if you want to get your job better now Let's talk about these five reasons. In my opinion, the first reason is that better sensors, better capabilities. Sometimes I hear a, a photographers say the gear is not important. Like I said before, I heard this many, many times. It's not the gear, it's the photographer. And the photographer can do this with an old film camera and can do that with an old film camera and blah, blah, blah. I know that. I, I used to learn with film and I shot with film. And I know that you can do a lot with film, but let's be fair, guys, because I don't really like when somebody are just blah, 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 but it's not true. So let's be fair a little bit. I shoot film. Even now I have my, I have my film gear and I can buy today a roll of film and go out and shoot. But I tell you something, that film would not be the same quality like my 24 megapixel uh, APS-C size camera. Let's not even talk about a full frame 36 megapixel or a medium format or whatever. Let's not even talk about that. Let's just talk about my 24 megapixel APS-C size Nikon D7200 or Fuji X-T20 or whichever APS-C size camera. Now, obviously that's not only the sensor, that is also the lens. But in the same time, the sensor helps you a lot. And digital sensors these days, they are very, very good. They retain a lot of details. And let's be fair, in film, you did not have those details. Now, this is the first part. The second part, obviously, if, you are, if, if somebody, if you shoot film in the past, or if you shot film in the past, you know that the film, you can blow up much better than a 24 megapixel uh, picture. The example, if you have a 24 megapixel uh, uh, APS-C size camera, your photo, when you, when you want to print, you can print until 30 by 20, let's say, and that's it. Now with film, you can blow that up even bigger. That's true, fair enough. But the details are not there. And I can stand to anybody, and I can demonstrate this to anybody. And anybody will come with a film camera, and I go with my digital camera, and we do the same shot, and we can prove it, and I can prove it to you, that the digital sensors are retaining more details than the film. And one of the main reasons, because uh, the, the lenses, you know, the, the, and this is the second reason, in my opinion, because newer lenses, better image quality. Sorry, I, I chimp down sometimes on my phone because I just made some notes over here. I don't forget everything. Uh, so sorry about that. So newer lenses, better image quality. I always say that lenses are more important than camera bodies. It's true. In the same time, in the past, 
the lenses were not as good. Now, again, we can argue over here a lot about, yeah, but you know, uh, th those lenses were not so sharp, but they were much better in different areas. Might be true, but in the same time, for some photographers, sharpness is important. For some photo photographers, not really. But sharpness is something what you can add in post-processing, but it's not the same. It's not the same if you add sharpness in post-processing, like if you have that sharpness originally with the lens. So, like I said, I used Photoshop, I used Lightroom, I used Zoner, I used the DX Optics Pro, I used many photo editing software. I did try with many software. And sharpness added in post-processing is not the same. So you have newer lenses, you have better sharpness, you have better, uh, uh, no chromatic aberration, no uh, vignetting maybe, or, or whatever, no distortion or whatever. Newer lenses are always better than older lenses. Not all of them, don't, uh, don't get me wrong, not all the newer lenses, because it might be, it might be a kit lens which is just released, uh, I don't know, a half a year ago, and it's not as good as a 20-year-old lens. It can happen. But generally speaking, if we speak about newer lenses and you know, and if you want to, to hold on to this and, and uh, shout at me and argue with me, remember that I said that not all of them. So if we speak now about a decent priced lens, you know, like the Sigma Art lenses or even in the, in the Nikon, you know, let's talk about the Nikon 85mm f1.8 G which is a cheap lens, it's not an expensive, it's 500 euro. And this lens is great, it's brilliant. Now don't tell me that a 20 year old lens is better than that, because I won't believe that. And we can do a shot anytime and you can see that I'm right. So newer lenses are always better. This was the second uh, reason, newer lenses, better image quality. The third reason is, Newer, better lighting options, this is more important than cameras. Again, we are talking about gear, so we don't talk about only about camera and lens. We talk about anything which is, contains your gear. Now, obviously, uh, I have over here the example lighting, and I have over here some, some bulbs, and I have some LED lights, and I have whatever. But the LED light is obviously better than the bulbs. It's newer technology. It's, it's, you, I, can, I can set the white balance, I can set the Kelvin, you know, on the light, on the LED light. On the bulb, I cannot do anything. That is something which I cannot do anything. So, it will help you a lot if you get newer gear, because you have more options. You have to choose. You can perfect your image before you do it, you know? You can make your image perfect. Again, uh, reason number four. Better focusing, better hit rate. Now we talk about sports and wildlife photographers. Like I said, uh, although I don't care about this because my job is, is not like that. I'm a portrait and wedding photographer, so I don't really care about this. But like I said in the beginning, it depends what kind of photography are you into. It depends that what kind of job you are doing. That determines as well if you need a newer camera as well. Obviously, if I have the D7200 uh, and I go and I want to be a wildlife photographer, I would need the D500 because the D500 has much better autofocusing system than the D7200. So that makes a serious reason for me to upgrade to D500. But in the same time, if I am only a portrait photographer, why do I need? Because my subject is always sitting over there posing for me, you know, so there is no, there's no movement in the picture. I don't need that. So that's why I said at the beginning that your, uh, your job will determine as well if you need or not. Now, again, better focusing and hit rate. If you are a wildlife or sports photographer, I do some sports photography as well because my son is uh, playing rugby and I do some, uh, some uh, photography on rugby matches. I shoot rugby matches for them, for the club. And uh, I tell you something. It is really important because sometimes I have difficulties because I shoot like six, seven uh, or eight pictures or maybe 10 pictures in a row and only three, four are in focus. Sometimes I get all, but if you have a great autofocusing camera like the D500 or the Fuji X-D2 or, or the Olympus EM1 Mark II or these cameras, you know, or the Nikon D850 or whatever in DSLRs, you know, if you have a great autofocusing camera, you will have 98% in, uh, in, in focus. 
So that's a big difference. And this would be the, the fourth reason. Now, the fifth reason, again, this depends on your job. And this is very important for me. Better ISO performance is your job. I mean, the sensor, you know, these days, the dynamic range of the sensors and the ISO performance of the sensors, it is great and it is much better than the older ones. So let's say we are shooting with film, yeah? You have a, a film with 800 ISO, or you have a film with whatever. It's not the same. Guys, it's not the same. Let's be fair. I could say that, oh yeah, the photographer and the eye of the photographer and you can do with a point and shoot camera, whatever. They, those, are, those are only uh, fairy tales. That's the truth. Because you can, I'm not talking about composition. I'm not talking about uh, anything like this. The eye of the photographer is very important. Knowledge in composition is very important. Knowledge in lightning is very important. But these are the artistic values of the picture. When I talk, what I talk about now is not the artistic value of the picture. What I talk about now is the image quality of the picture. The picture can be artistic. The artistic value of the picture could be 200% uh, plus. And in the same time, the, the picture is underexposed. The picture is not uh, uh, because it was an, an old, shitty, creepy camera. So if you have a newer camera, you have easier job. And low light performance in the new, these new cameras is just better than the other one, the, the older ones. Like my friend used to have, I remember, the D90, Nikon D90, which is, which is a great camera. And it was a, a brilliant camera at the time. If I'm not wrong, Nikon, even now, they sell the Nikon D90. And I tell you something, when I bought the Nikon D7200 first time, he said, okay, let's, let's see, let's see what's the difference. And then when he saw the pictures, you know, his picture and my picture, and he was like, uh, well, yeah, because the Nikon D90 was designed five, six, seven years ago, whenever, eight years ago. Nikon D7200 was designed three, four years ago, whatever, I don't know, maybe more or less. But it is better. The sensor quality, the image quality, the ISO capability, it is better in the newer cameras. Let's be fair. Like, look at the Nikon D8, D850. Obviously, it's better than the D810. Because it's a newer design, it's a newer, it's better. So those photographers who will say, yeah, well, I can do with a point and shoot BS. You cannot do that. You can do, you can do a great picture with, uh, with great artistic value. You can do that. You can do a great picture with lightning and whatever, and you, 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 you raise the artistic value of the photo. But in the same time, let's be fair. And let's say that if you don't have new gear, you have more difficulties. Newer gear will make your job easier. And that's it. Now, like I said, there are some reasons which why you don't really need that. But that will be the other video. And I will talk about that as well. Because it's very, very important so you are a realistic person. I was, I was at the beginning, you know, I was also very excited about newer gears. But in the same time, I realized that I have to think very carefully and balance up, you know. So, if you like to buy new gears and you have the money for it, no problem at all. Some people, they smoke, some people, they drink and that money is gone anyway. So if this is your hobby, if this is your profession, if this is whatever, you want to invest a lot of money in it, it's completely up to you. That's not an issue. But what I want to do with this video and with the other video, that you don't have to feel pressed that you must buy new gear. No. You must buy new gear in a certain situation, but not all the time. So, if you have something to add to this video, please feel free and leave a comment down below. I'm only a human person, I might forget something. These are my five reasons what I think that it's very important why you should buy new gear. In the next video, I will do the five reasons why you don't really need new gear. And uh, I will explain why I say that. So if you have something to add to this video, please feel free and leave a comment down below. If you want to ask something, feel free and leave a comment down below and I will answer to you best of my knowledge. 
And uh, other than that, I wish you a very, very nice day. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys. You're a superhero. You're a superhero.